No, it's different from the, any of the records you've ever heard before. Totally new material. Darn technocracy. It's technocracy every time. We'll get you in the ears. Now it's my pleasure to denou- I mean to introduce <clears throat> Okay, say less. For them haters that think this shit ain't for real. People don't know about it. Nevertheless, I know a lot of things that people don't know. I thought they already knew. But then I came to find out they don't know.
talking about music, I'm not just talking about musician playing an instrument. Anything is music. You take like a beautiful picture that an artist paints, that's music. Anything that has symmetry to it, and when you look at it, it makes you feel it, is music. Because that's what music is all about, feeling. Welcome to today's stream. It is a Thursday. It's October 28th of 2021. We're going to be streaming from 10 to 12 today, as promised, an early stream for a later day in the week. We're going to do the same on Saturday as well, 12 to 2. Um, in the future, maybe all streams will be from 12 to 2, or 10 to 12, sorry, uh, rather than the 12 to 2, just because it makes um, organizing my days a little bit better. Regardless, we're we continuing where we left off last time with this war of mine. 
Um, I can't remember it too much. The issue with continuing, excuse me, the issue with continuing um, a save in this war mine, and why I usually don't do it, is I usually tend to forget um, what I did the night before. So it usually means that I go to the same place again, I eat a meal when I don't need to eat a meal, I heal up when I don't need to heal up, etc., etc. Hopefully, hopefully they are. Uh, not hungry, or if they are hungry, we'll feed them, and hopefully I'm not wasting food. Anyways, with that said, swap into it, but I'll remind you, of course, the music you listen to during today's stream is provided by your best friend, Jippy, over on SoundCloud. We're going to start with Beat Tape 33 for today's stream, and that's going to bleed into Rough Raps, Valentine's Mix, Make Him Envy, and finally Beat Tape 32 for today's three-hour stream. We're going to start with Beat Tape 33 as I mentioned if you want to listen to Jippy on your own you can find a link in the about page of this channel under FAQ facts and questions for the music that we listen to if you listen to this on YouTube you can see on the screen how to spell it you can find them on Spotify as well as YouTube and of course SoundCloud same spelling same spaces the whole nine yards give them a listen we music we use the music down the streams when our videos as well on the main YouTube channel He's super kind for letting us do that, so showing your love, support for that, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'm certain he would as well. Let's hit continue. Uh, Saturday stream, I think we might play Civ. So I just have a lot of stuff that I have to do this weekend, so playing an easy game. For me, Civ, Civ 6 is an easy game. Amelia is feeling much better, we just have to keep an eye on her. Great. Fantastic. I'm depressed. Slightly wounded. You're wounded. Slightly wounded. Hungry. Hungry. Alright, well, let's have you sleep because you're kind of fucked up. You're wounded. Let's, let's slap a bandage on you. She's getting better, but... I... Uh, okay, so here's my issue. Sometimes in this game, you can get better and then become very, very bad very quickly. Which I guess there's a level of realism in that. Um, but by god, is that hard as shit. There's been many times where a slight scratch has become a severe wound. I think it may have happened even on stream once when we were with um, we had the pregnant lady in our fray. Well, that, that was bad when that happened. She didn't die, I don't think. Um, no, she definitely didn't die. None of them died. Um, but by God, was it close? I'm pretty sure. Hey, hurry the fuck up. Talk to the Depresso guy here. Depresso Express over here. Hey, please help me. Well, she's bandaged now, and she's talking out her sadness, so maybe we can get her to help. Roman, I can see you're down. Uh, but we need to work together to make it. I don't know if this is going to fix anything. I don't think she's a smooth talker. Fuck off! I'll, I'll come. I'm, I Listen. You won't. You don't help. Come on. Get a grip. Alright. Into the fucking door. Eat. Eat the fucking Chef Boradis. Chef Boradis nuts. Open the door. Our mom is sick. Please help us. Oh. If you're going to ask for like more than... Sure, you can have the meds, kid. It's fine. Cure that sadness. Poor children. I hope her meds are enough to help their mother. I think they want food later on. Meds are hard to come by, but we did the right thing. Actually, they're not too hard to come by, honestly. Uh, we just need to kill people <laughs> to get them. That's the only issue. And I don't mind killing them. And I think we have mainly soldiers in our way in terms of who we would need to kill, and I don't know if that's going to cause much sadness here in the bunk. Yeah, we have a broken guitar, don't we? Okay, so we need two parts and a bunch of wood. <coughs> um, we need an axe. Um, five wood part. Okay, so we need just like components and wood and stuff like that in general. Okay, good to know. How about we're doing? Um, cigarettes. 
Super Day 3. Fortunately, a shelter is a place where we could get some respite from war. <laughs> we only have one chair. We have beds and we sleep in decent conditions. If someone gets sick or wounded, they'll have a place to rest. We've made a radio and we listen to it. We really miss books. A good book could help us forget the horrors of war. Staying here offers a slight respite in these hard times. Cigarettes can Super Day. Cascali can Super Day. Oh, we're good on coffee and cigarettes unless someone robs us of our, of our life, basically. Sleep in bed, scavenge. Alright, so we visited... Where did we go? We went to the church last time. And we, we pretty much raided that place, right? Top to bottom. Lots of parts. Lots of materials. The corrupted squat. has been inhabited by the homeless in Salon before the war. They've always been struggling with the lack of food and might not have survived the recent charges. <clears throat> Small apartment building is owned by an elderly couple. Military outpost, supermarket, Snooker Junction, Roadblock Flats. <coughs> Sorry. The Spike Flats has some heavy. Um, they've seen some heavy fighting. Most people. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we've. Block of Flats. Garage. We have Garage has the elderly people that would trade. Let's go back to the church again. Let's take the crowbar. Let's scavenge. I think I might have left some stuff in here, maybe. Maybe some good stuff, hopefully. I think we can run. We did kill everyone here. I can't remember killing everyone last time with a shotgun and then getting blasted in the stomach. Uh, ooh. I remember we need saws to get into certain places down here. I remember that now that I think about it. I wish that once you clear, well, I guess those people, are, I was going to say, I wish that once you cleared out the church, people would show up, but I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't, because they're fucking dead. So it's like, of course they wouldn't show up, they're, these people are fucking goners. They're, they're amongst this rubble. I should read this, I'm pretty sure it just says something about someone dying here. Yeah, here lies Roxy, the best dog in the world, yeah. R.I.P. Roxy. Give me an F for Roxy in the chat. Thank you. Alright, yeah. Empty, empty, empty. Pretty sure I didn't search everything in here. Yeah, that's med ingredients. I don't need... I don't have a thing to do med ingredients with. Like, I don't have, um... I also don't have something to do with... I don't have anything to use fertilizer for, if I'm honest. Um... Make expensive cigarette. I'll just take that for now, and if we find components they can replace it with, I will. Um, which is a good trade item. I have my inventory while we walk around. Sugar, same thing. It really is bits and pieces that I've I've left. I thought I had left a lot more than this. This might be a really shitty raid. Or scavenge, not a raid, sorry. That, that, and that. I'm gonna leave the homegrown because I don't have a thing that can do anything with that. I'm keeping the fertilizer because with fertilizer, and I'll take the book because we're just completing that book. I'll take the fertilizer because when we build traps, um, and we put them in skirts. No, um, when we get traps, uh, you can arm them with fertilizer and you get two food per thing, so it's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to collect the fertilizer now while I'm, I'm here, hopefully. Uh, this toy has seen better days. It's broken now, but it's certainly brought... I don't know why I'd want this. I've never... I've never found a use for it. I don't even know if you can trade them. I think they don't stack, either. I'm going to grab the meds, because it looks like I'm getting nothing out of this. I'm pretty sure this this is all garbage in here, but I'll I've got the time. I should have brought the shovel with me. I could I could exit right now and just reset, but then run the issue of it resetting whether or not we get raided. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm one of those people. If the game doesn't go right, I reset it. By doing the gamer move of quitting the game. There's two search things there. I'm pretty sure, okay, if these two are garbage, if these two search things are gonna be garbage, I'm not gonna bother digging the other one. I don't even know if I have enough time for that. I should honestly go and try and get the other meds that are around, the other med parts, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna carry them. Used to, they can be used to make normal meds, old pills and animal meds. Okay. Last stream got pretty political. I'm gonna try and avoid that today. Um, I'm also gonna try and record some Civ 6 gameplay for video for this week's video. Because <sighs> once again, I couldn't. I was too busy to make an explain video. I just gotta get back into the groove. I was able to do it when I was in. Oh shit. I was able to do it when I was in um, college, so I should be able to still do it now. Electrical parts, I will say goodbye to that. Well, everything else is a little bit more viable. To me, at least. <coughs> one sugar cube for one pesky thing of fucking wood. Fine. Let's go get the meds. Where did I, I grab the pills, I guess. That. I think you can stack a good amount of pill uh, parts. Homegrown tobacco. This is really all there is here. This is crazy. I thought I, I thought I had left so much more than this. I don't know why I, I thought that. Honestly, it's good to know that we don't have to come back here though. Okay, four is the max I can take of that. All right, well we're out. What a shit run honestly I'm hope uh, we have to have some sort of trade or something to get components and parts I guess we can go to the elderly couple and their son in the, the garage there or garage either or <coughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. two weeks into this shit I haven't even been raided Amelia is bleeding it looks like she won't make it all right she's dead they stole all our food oh boy Slightly wounded, depressed, and tired. Lethally wounded. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't can't anywhere ship bandages me. The father went to the marketplace every day to barter our deceased mother's valuables for food and other necessities. He also took humanitarian aid, though it must have been humiliating for humiliating for him. His sister and I hardly went out at all. He wanted to keep us safe because we had long hair and no running water. Uh, oh, because we had long running, uh, we had long hair and no running water, and we started having problems with lice. We may never figure out what the rest of that story is because this bitch is probably gonna die. What did they do to her? Well, they fucking they stabbed her probably. Probably gave her a, a good fucking beating or something. Um, you you're depressed again. Everyone's depressed again. Give her the fucking medicine to those kids for nothing. Right, bandage yourself up, then cook. Actually, no, you ate yesterday, you don't get to eat today. I hope I'll get better now. Hmm. How many, how many sticks? I got, I got eight. Put one in the fire. It took five food, that's fucking crazy. Uh, Romans probably have to go and kill some people. Military outposts, let's check this. Let's think of this. <clears throat> I was shotgun with 19 bullets, right? That's, that's what I have. <coughs> can I clear military outposts of that? I don't think I can. I really don't think I can. But at this point, oh, we're so screwed on everything. There's a good chance that one of these two is going to die in the next day or two. 
That's a fantastic mood to start. Oh my god. Well, I'll die eventually. Let me talk to this depressed person and try and make them feel good. Like, what the fuck? Now it's 18 degrees Celsius in here. Hey, Roman, listen to me. What do you want? Why is the bitch that just got fucking, like, gutted having to talk to this guy out of depression? Just remind you that you're not alone here. Go away. Well, that was, uh, was a decent pep talk and a half, I would say. What good will it do? Okay, they're ready. Hey, me, you gotta listen to me. I'm coming. What do you want? Just remind you that you're not alone here. Go away. Probably both would say go away. Yep. All right. Conversation. They're both depressed. No, I want to make it make it through. I need your help. Okay, so Roman's just better at talking than she is because she just ended the conversation. No. So stop crying and pull yourself together. Well, I think she has every reason in the world to cry because she is lethally wounded, you dickhead. This bitch was fucking gutted <laughs> the night before. Don't tell her not to fucking cry. That's not a good idea. Alright, you're tired. Go to bed. What the fuck's going on here? This conversation's taking way too long. Quit shaking her like she's a fucking... I, I don't know what's going on here. He's shaking her like a jar of juice, dude. Put her down. Just stop. What is happening? It's this shit. This is weird. This... I don't know. This war of mine, too. Fix this. Make it so that they don't fucking continuously shake each other. How the conversation is even loading anymore. There you go. Okay. Go to bed. You're not eating anything. You're not allowed to eat anything. Those kids aren't showing up, so we end the day. Lethal, lethally wounded. She's, she's gone. Um. All right, I'm going to the. Uh, wish me luck, boys. I'm going here. Bring the crowbar. Bring the shotgun and bring all the bullets. Which is probably a mistake, honestly. I'm gonna bring 14. Leave five for her. That should be. She should be able to defend herself with five. She has a shovel and two pistols. She can dual wield that. Three and two. Alright, she'll be fine. She would be dead. Who knows? If you get attacked again while she's severely wounded, she'll die. Uh, and I don't know. Or we'll reset. I don't know. I've lost track of whose side they're on. Hopefully we find something in here that we can give this guy to like, piss off a little bit here. Because he only trades in cigarettes and something else. I can't remember. Cigarettes and booze. Nope. Nothing here. Just components. Oh, I tell you, you didn't need that. Excuse me. Uh, you've got some good food. Alright. Are you leaving? Oh, did I just interrupt the only chance I have to go up? No, the gate is secure. Uh oh. I think I had the only. That was my only opportunity. Oh, no. Here it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. for his fucking pants off of this man. That's what I'm talking about. That's the sweet tea that I wanted. <coughs> Alright. Equip this. Exit. Stand here. Um. 
15 bullets. There's a lot more than that in there, and I know there is, because look how fucking big this thing is. That might be that building. I should have to hope that that's that building. I might not even have to keep moving. This might be more than enough to fucking leave with. He's gonna cry. I don't know. I feel like he's gonna cry that we killed these guys. I hope he doesn't. Okay, the, I love this game. I've told you guys before. I love this game. I would recommend it. If side scrolling, like you know, thought provoking kind of games, whatever your thing. But and I think a lot of games do this. Even books and movies do this. Where like the protagonist, and in this case, it's the protagonist. I'm using air quotes here that you can't see. Uh, is Roman. The fact that Roman, if he cries, like crocodile tears basically, uh, from killing these guys, I think that's unfair. Even though they didn't shoot me first, these are the guys who are like knife raping chicks in the fucking grocery store. Like, uh, that's not, like, come on. Like, don't, like, fuck off. That, that doesn't seem fair at all. Um, let's drop a shotgun, let's grab food. So this, this building here should be clear, and it's just everything past this door onward that I'm scared of. And, and don't, don't fucking call me a bitch. I, I know for a fact that I need to be scared of. We've done this so many times at this point. We all know the fucking rhythm of, of this place. It's filled to the brim with fucking chunks of loot. Uh, yeah, you, you have to act like a bitch throughout this whole thing. Okay, so I've, I've gotten, like, everything under the sun now that I could ever want from this one place, pretty much. Got ten water, two food, four food, too mad, too mad, too mad. We'll have to come back, we'll come back here tomorrow. And then we'll just have to kill the rest. I won't bring, I don't know, maybe I will bring the core bar. <clears throat> the issue with bringing the core bar is it takes up a slot. But the reason why I'm thinking about taking it is because if I run up ammo, I can still crack some more of the fucking head with the core bar. And I don't think there's any damage difference between a core bar and a shovel. We've been raided. Melee's dead. Alright, well... Someone tried to rob us. They took some food, cigarettes, and ammunition. All right, well, Amelia's fucking dead, yeah. One or more soldiers dead. What's the difference? I don't care how many of us they kill either. Amelia died. I have to make sure we have enough food, bandages, and meds in case I need them. Well, oh, he's broken. All right, so he might fucking, he might lose it. Oh, he's not gonna move. He's not gonna listen. He won't do anything I tell him to do. Cause he's fucking, he's a broken toy. <laughs> or the game's over, I don't know. That might be it. If it is it, we'll reset. He's fucking... Yeah, he's gone. Have some fucking Chef Boyardee's boy. Nothing you can do about it. Move on. She's... Listen. Okay. It, I understand. I'm not a fucking inhuman. And I understand the storytelling. I understand what it's trying to tell me. It's trying to tell me... Yo, they, they're in a tough situation, they became friends, yada, 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 like, this was his only hope, before he was an asshole, and he started becoming a good guy, all that fun stuff, but, like, I don't, you have to, this, I feel like this guy is rational enough where he can think, like, I, there's no, I can't do anything here, like, this bitch, she's gone, Amelia's dead, like, I, I can't, like, I can't do anything else, you know, I can't, Bring her, I can't bring her back. I can't, you know, expect that things to change. That she's suddenly resurrected from the dead, like she's Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. He's not gonna get up. This is gonna be a bit. This is the problem when you have the two people, and then. <coughs> I don't know. I feel like the women in this game, when you have them on guard, they get beat up a lot more than men. Get off your ass for like 10 seconds, please. Or, you, or is the day fucked? The day might be fucked. He might be fucked. I don't know. He might leave. 
Usually when someone's broken, they leave the next day. Or they die. More the other. Another attack like that, we're done for. Another attack like that, and no one's done for, because you'll be out scavenging if you get up and sleep. Alright, if it goes past 12 and he doesn't get up, then I'm going to end the day, and then... Hopefully have some rest or something will do him good. Yeah, it sucks that we're missing out on this opportunity to trade with this guy. Um, but... Nothing you can do about it. Stay. He's gonna be gone in the morning. What's gonna happen to him? We've been raided. Roman commits suicide. We found Roman dead. He couldn't take it any longer. He took his own life. Wow. All right. You survived only for 16 days. Well, actually, I don't know about that. Well, it sucks to be you, I guess. Um, helping each other. We helped the man get medication for his father. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, the sniper junction. Father and child. Roman didn't help a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home to a sick child. Like, what? The, I didn't have anything with him. Saving a life. Our neighbor's children asked us for medication for her. We shared the little we had with them. And then finally, violent skirmish. Several soldiers were killed by Roman. And then, is this the suicide? What is this? Amelia died. Oh, yeah. Amelia died of severe wounds. And then Roman hung himself. What an, what an epilogue. What a, what a story. Well. Amelia joined the long list of casualties. In this destructive conflict, the fact that she was young and well off didn't matter. War makes everyone equal. Unable to accept the reality in which he had to live, hating himself for not being stronger and more in control of his life, Roman killed himself. He left no notes or goodbye letters. Well. Shit. We go again. Um. No, survive so 16. I love how it has to fucking remind me how shit I was. I don't want to. I don't want to roll with a crowd of three. I I won't be able to fucking live. They'll be so dead. Where, who's caddy again? It's four people in this one. Oh, no. Roll with the four man. See if I can do that. <clears throat> hmm. This is the original trio. Whoa, what did I click? Oh shit. Whatever. It's going to be a mystery for me and you when we get in there. I think I might have clicked the original trio that I was just talking about. Pavlik, like Bruno, and Caddy, I think. Yep. Pick the original trio. Who I was going to pick, anyways. So you got Cadia, got the original house, everything's clean. Not really actually, it's everything's dirty. Everything's piss. Alright, um start searching shit. Bruno. Crack open these doors. You start searching shit. Once it cracks open that door, you can search the other thing. Oh, you're so much faster, that's crazy. I swear the loot is better with these people. Oh, this is a chair, you fucking, you fucking ass. Get up. Search the other shit. You. Get the moving. Get the moving and grooving. Grab that. Look at all that good stuff. Man. What's it like being dirt poor? We knew how it was about 10 seconds ago. So he's a fast runner, good cook. She's got bargaining skills. Great. Very. I remember this trio. This is the trio I used to always play when I was on my, I had on my iPad. Tablet, I should say, not iPad. Mm hmm. Lucky it's not cold out there. 
or in here. I hope we manage to keep it warm in here. Fuck it hell. Yeah, let's check the things that we have so far. Uh, we have a good amount of materials already. It's quite nice. Lock pick. What do we want to leave the lock pick for? Um, probably this door here. On the same level that the workbench is at. Or we can pick the door that immediately Caddy is going to have access to. It's Caddy, right? Yep. And Bruno. Bruno's going to be last, I think. Uh, you're going to be first. I was going to have the first person start working on the workbench, but I think you should start digging on to the next one. We need a stove. Stove first and then metal workbench. I think is how we're going to play this. Get this open. I like this house so much better than the other ones. I don't know. The way the lights are in, in this building, they just look cooler. <coughs> Got a book. Nice. Alright, your job is to go here, start looking at some things, figure out what's going on. Bruno's gonna search this before you get to the bench. Grab it to Bruno. Start digging again. Katia. How's it going? Alright, make this bitch. Make this bitch have heat. Oh dear. Oh shit, we're gonna need a bed. Alright, bed after bench then. You need that door is locked. Alright. Um where can you go then? Well, I guess you can make shit as well. Remember, they won't eat tomorrow. Even though they'll be hungry tomorrow, they won't eat tomorrow. Because tomorrow will be the first day of hunger. Only feed them every two days. Me, my bedroom. Should that be the bedroom? Yes. No. Yes. We usually make the beds on the same floor as the workbench and one floor below the main level because, in my mind, if I was living in an apocalypse, my bedroom would not be. would be down. I feel like. I feel like you'd want to be underground. Let's sleep underground at least. All right, two beds means the two people that are left and sleep, which I think is a good idea. Let's build the second bed. I wouldn't have to build two beds if there was only two of you. That's why it took so long to get a second bed for Marco Rubio, whatever the fuck his name is. Okay, move on to you, and then a radio, I suppose, is a good idea. Um, a radio put up here, I guess. Radio can go up there. And I don't think I can build anything else. I think I'm pretty much done here, but I'm going to double check what I need, at least. What do I need uh, for a metal workbench? More wood. Alright, Katia, you sleep. That's how you recover from sickness by sleeping. <clears throat> Slightly sick is probably that she's got a runny nose or something. I think you can cure sickness by increasing heat uh, if the sickness is caused by coal. I think I've had it happen before. Could have been other shit though. I'm not going to read these out because it's the same message every time I play this game. So I'm just repeating myself. If you really want me to do a fucking reading stream, I'll play in other waters again. Alright, sleep in bed. Sleep in bed. Scavenge. Great. Fast runner. Sleep six, sleep, sleep. 12. Oh, she's got 12 as well. Great. Ghost house. A man who lived there. See, you want to tell you? There's like all these different versions of all the houses. A man who lived there used to give shelter to people in need. He either died or fled for his home has been. After his home has been ravaged by mortar fire. Since then, the house stands abandoned, and neighbor kids neighbor kids say that it's haunted. Ruined villa. They say some people still live there. Against all odds, must be some supply stock. Danger. Half is ruined, but there are people living in the other half. I remember that house. All right, we're going to the ghost house first. Uh, we have nothing that we can use. <coughs> I.e. no lockpicks, shovels, 
or crowbars or knives even. So we're just gonna go in bare knuckle brawling style. It's deserted. I don't expect to meet me, me anyone inside. And Growlithe, I'm gonna sneak inside because they say it's haunted. And when people say shit's haunted, sometimes there's homeless people in there. Squatters. Yeah, that's a bullet. That's actually pretty good for early game, I would say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that food? Is that food? food, food. That's a hard... That usually isn't a rat if it's that. Oh my god, there's so much food in this fucking place. That's a lot of shit in there. Okay, the bullet's nice, but, like, that's nicer... Ooh, I need I need wood bad. But let me let me check up and see what this guy is or what this is. If it is a person, if it's a homeless person or something, I need to be mindful of my actions here. Is that a corpse? What is that? Oh, it's a it's a rat. Okay, so it's just rats everywhere. Yeah, just rats. They're just rats just stuck there, so it's super concentrated. I was eating the flesh. Oh my god, there's so much good shit in here. This place is actually fucking epic. I don't actually Ah oh fuck, one of them smokes. Dear Subira. Just when I managed to reach the country we thought to be safe, it too is plunged into war. Don't worry though, I'm fine. I write this letter waiting for a man who can smuggle me to safety in his boat. I then apply for the asylum and as soon as I get it, I'll bring you here and we'll be together again away from war and misery. Hang on and pray for me, Cody. Well, um, bring you here? What the fuck? What other places in war? Is the whole... So we're in the countryside, I understand that. What I don't understand is what that person's referring to. Are they saying that, like, oh, there's another war that was like, this place is fine, um, where, where we are now. Well, and this guy claimed asylum, got off a boat, and then got here? Or is this the receiver of the message? It's probably the receiver of the message that makes things easier to understand. I don't even know why I'm searching shit right now. I don't have room for anything. I actually just want to know what we have in here. And what I need. Alright, so I need a crowbar. Or something to open a door with. I need a hacksaw. Oh my god, there's so much good shit in here. This place is a fucking gold mine. This is great. Alright, get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah, it's a crowbar and some hacksaws. A hacksaw and a crowbar. Or a lockpick and a hacksaw. It's good shit. That's an easy house to crack if we want to go back. Uh, and we, I think we're going to go back tomorrow. Why not? It's a safe place to go. And there's bullets there. Bullets are pretty good. Bullets, even though we don't have a gun, it means that if we get a gun, which I believe there is a house to get a gun at... Like, just buried in the ground or something like that. can't remember. Um, yeah, if you're not eating today again, I'm not going to remind you guys. You can sit down. She's good good to go. She's just hungry. Start building shit. Um, yeah, one of the houses in one of its iterations just has a gun buried in the front yard, if I remember correctly. Um, I can't remember what house it is. You have to read all the notes. Are those little magnifying classes or notes? Um, that's why I often read them, even though a lot of times they say the same thing. It triggers secret events in the game, essentially, um, which unlocks new searchable locations, essentially. Or, in some cases, it will trigger an event, and that event will be someone walks in or something, which fucking sucks if you're, like, looting a place, and then everything becomes stealing or something of the sort. Right, this is all bad to try and do right now. Alright, let's let's think about this for a second. What else do I need? Uh, rainwater collector is going to be an issue, or is going to be something I'm going to need at some point. Components. 
components. All right, well, we know what we need. We need a crowbar for here and for that place we were gonna raid. We raided last night and we're gonna raid again. Open up, I brought something for barter. Great, well, I hope you have something, some form of components or something, that'd be nice. Okay, you have food, which is even nicer, honestly. Cigarettes and coffee. Cigarettes and coffee are things I need, so. Um, let's drop the cigarettes. Let's drop the food. Let's drop this. This half of yours is too damn impressive. Well, I don't really want to make it impressive, so let's fix that. Fine, we have a deal. Can I make this, like, even more troublesome for you by, like, adding... That will do. Try harder. I don't really need this piece of food. I do need this wood. Yeah, it's so much sugar to give you for pretty much trash, honestly. Trash that I need, though, that's the issue. If it was trash that I didn't need, then it would be a different story. Sodfer is very generous of you. Well, I don't really want it to be, so. The deal. And then let's let's broker another deal here. Four, five. That's not enough for you. You fucking commie. That's good enough. All right, fuck off. Get out of here. I give you forty-two sugar. Yeah, I don't know how many horses you plan on feeding with that shit. Upgrade all these things now. This is great. I'm gonna upgrade this first, and then I'm gonna start cracking open doors, I guess. Or where should I go first? Go down here first, because this doesn't. I don't have to crack open two doors. I don't have to do anything crazy. I should, I should go down right away. Open the door. Open the door. <coughs> See, if I was these people, I mean, I've complained about this a hundred times now at this point, about the whole, like, blocking up holes and how much it costs. But if I was these people, I'd rip these fucking doors up the hinges and just start boarding up the windows. Like, fuck everything else in between. Uh, herbal, herbal. Herbal workshop. It's pretty alright. Some components for that. Actually, let's double check that I can't upgrade this as well. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. Uh, so let's just go and oh look at that more medicine some lock picks that's good shit um let's board up a wall but i want an herbal thing and prepare herbal meds bandages and low quality roll up cigarettes i think that's just really good i might want that Usually I have my guitar up here, but I guess I can have the roll-ups up here as well. This is, I would want to put this in here, where the other meds are, but I can't. Um, I guess I'll go there. Alright, you, good sir, good Samaritan, you know, the whole nine yards. Let's get a shovel for you, actually, because we still have a lot of digging to do. Enough sleeping. Ugh. Build me a shovel. Build me a shovel. Alright, you open that door. Now open this one up here. And once that door's open, we're gonna be right as rain. Right as rain and as good as coffee. Let me just double check that I, I need cigarettes. Yes, I do. I need lots of cigarettes. And coffee. Alright, I was right to trade for that those cigarettes and that coffee. How dare any of you question question me. I know what I'm doing. I was in the pro league to this game. Are there pro leagues to this game? Please tell me there are. I feel like that'd be funny to watch. Yes, 
so he's busted that door open. He can start digging at this shit. Yep, and he got the shovel right in time. That's my boy. Ooh, two diamonds. Actually, I think it's probably gonna be very expensive to get these guys off the island now that I think about it. Oops. Should have been that excited about that. Okay, what does an upgrade to this provide me? More efficient stove allows us to prepare cooked food more efficiently, saving fuel. Alright, well, that seems like an upgrade worthy of keeping in mind as a goal. There's nothing else for you to do down here. You might as well just sit down and dream about food. You ratatouille looking motherfucker. Come on. It's 20 degrees and drop by two in a day. Mm, that's worrisome. That that bothers me. I don't think I'm in winter. I hope I'm not in winter. Or at the very cusp of winter. Whatever this fucking game wants me to believe I'm in. Sleep, sleep. Nope. You sleep in bed. You scavenge. We go back to this fucking ghost house. And we'll bring a lock pick. Who's that? More space. I need more space. And I'm going to sneak again. Because, as I've mentioned before, there are iterations <coughs> of everything. And we've talked about this when we did, did the supermarket. One night you can go to the supermarket. It's just a bunch of guys being guys, you know, jerking each other off, searching the fucking shit, you know. Um, you have to steal that shit faster than they do. But if you go another time... You have to be careful because you'll be a fucking chick getting raped by one of the rebels and you have to, well, if you're a good Samaritan, you'll kill him. I always kill him. Or I always bring a knife from the second time going to the supermarket and I suggest you do as well. Because he will shoot you too, I believe. I don't think he ponders on the uh, the ramifications of shooting you in the, gut, in the fucking gut, honestly. I don't think it enters his mind all that much, so I won't let it enter mine. You hear that? The fucking creaking? That might have been me just moving around as much as my character does. Okay, I've gotten... There's a bullet there. Cigarettes are worth it. Let's just loot up what, what we have, stack up on this. Still need those hacksaws and everything, so we won't try to keep that shit in mind. Come in here, go across, go across again. It's a fucking bug over there or something. Is one coffee worth what would otherwise be four components? Probably not. Hmm. Take the weapon parts, put this in here. Take the coffee, put this in here. Take the, the quality roll-up cigarette and replace it with that. Take out the electrical parts and put this in there. That looks good. Let's just keep checking for more shit. There's still some really good stuff in this house. There's all that water in that fridge and everything. All these cigarettes here too. Um, mm. oh, coffee. Can't be there. Almost forgot about that. We have to come back here. We have to go here one more time. This place is good. There's there's shit here. There's bullets still. It's a good place. It's a good place until some homeless guy shows up with a fucking rusty spoon. I've never been killed by one of those people that asks you for hot food or whatever. But I would not put the game, wouldn't put it past the game to suddenly make those people extra violent. You're rated. Bruno got wounded. Caddy got wounded. Fuck! I wanted to be so aggressive about it. I stole some food and some water. Alright, well, we can live with that. 
You guys are slightly wounded. You're not going to hobble around, so let's make some food for now. It's the second day. They deserve food. You too. Thanks for wood. Very wood. Get up. Yeah, they're they're fine. She's slightly sick again. I think she's just weak. Uh, let's save up the wood that we have to build boards and for upgrades as well, of course. Yeah. You sleep. We're consuming one cup of coffee per day, so we have four we have four days worth of coffee. That's fine. We can oh shit. Fuck, I'm forgetting that there's three of us and not two of us. Ah, oh, food's gonna be such a fucking bitch. And then the fuel to make the food. Oh okay, yeah, I need to upgrade the stove. Because I'm gonna be losing so much wood. He makes food extra fast and he makes it with less fuel. So imagine if we didn't fucking use him, or he died. Fuck, that'd be bad. All right, Pav gets the, the fucking good food right away. Kanye deserves to sleep a little bit more, because she's fucked up and sick, so... She will heal over time. If she sleeps in the bed. If she gets up, then it stops the healing process. Alright, now you've got to make one extra fucking meal here. There you go. Until we get more of those cans, or until I can get um, Pav over to um, over to the military outpost, we're gonna be scraping by for food, I think. Mm. <coughs> okay, food's gonna be an issue starting tomorrow. Maybe, maybe I don't go back to that place. Maybe I go and find... Oh, excuse me. Maybe I go and find a place that has food. Um, hmm. Military outpost, supermarket, the church, if robbed. But I don't have a gun. Uh, I, well, I have a crowbar. I can secretly kill that guy like I did last time and then take his gun. I can do that. That's the thing I can do. And I can shoot them when they come down the ladder. Uh, but that's how... That's how um, Marco, or whatever the fuck his name was. I already forgot his name. He committed suicide and I can't remember his name. Fuck. Yeah, but that guy... Uh... He got fucked bad, and then everything went bad afterwards. Uh, ghost house. Let's not go to the ghost house, then. Um, still place of meetings. All right, cool. Um, what is it? Oh, fucking... Gotta love bots. Let me fucking fix that real quick. Twitch has not done anything about that. Um... And a lot of people are complaining about it. These, this sudden wave of bots that no one really seems to give much of a shit about over on... Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's, it's rude. But, like... I don't know. I feel like it's an issue that's been persisting for months now. I feel like even as a kid, I'd watch... See bots in chat on Twitch and everything. Shouldn't even be acknowledging it by my logic that I mentioned last stream. It's, it's hard not to mention it when you guys can see it on the screen. Oh, these are these are these are hacked accounts too. Oh, that sucks. At least they left hacks. Ah, shit. I'm timing them out. Man. All right. I'll, I'll after stream I'll report those and see if I can do anything about them. Feel bad. Because I think that is a hacked account based on the fact that it has a profile picture and a banner. And it doesn't have numbers in its name. Or crazy numbers at least. 
Fuck. Man, I don't know what the situation is going on on Twitch, but... I don't know. They seem to be having a rough time lately. Shelled school. Alright, let's go there. They'll have, they'll have maybe... Will they have food? It's homeless people. I don't know if they'll have food. Church, I don't want to go there. So I'm going to detach house, I'll have to kill people. Then I'm going to... See, some people still live there against all odds. I must have supply stock like canned food. So that's trade. Actually, it says no possibility of trade here. This is stealing. All right, we're going to school then. Hopefully, we can get some food. I'm going to crowbar and the shovel. Yeah, if you're um, if you're watching this stream um, as a VOD or anything like that, or even if you're watching it live and you're just not talking chat, which is fine. I, I'd have no problem people would do that. Just an FYI, don't feel obligated to chat if you don't want to. Um, if you do me solid and go and report those accounts as well. I don't know. Or I don't know what Twitch has for the reports. If you can say, I think this account hacked. I don't know if that's the thing you can do. I don't know. It just seems odd to me that the account has a, a profile picture and a banner. But that's a lot of steps for someone, like some crazy Russian dude to fucking set up on a bot. You'd have to have a full list of the images, right? Unless you just... Then I, I, I've never seen that image before. It looks like a, a personalized version of some anime. I don't know. Building materials, I'm probably gonna have to move around in my inventory if I find food. I've been here before, which is why I went to the top floor rather than bother. There, there's some good stuff. There's good. Actually, I don't think there's any good stuff actually down there. I think people. I think it's just there to fuck with people. Um, there is a, some stuff. Some good stuff if you go. Um down all the way to the homeless people are and then um saw open up two doors I remember that being good stuff take that i know i need a lot of wood but that's so good too i'll break this open on this side so i don't waste my time in case i decide for some reason to open up the other side at some point Oh, I need to get down to the ladder this way. Alright, never mind. Never mind, it's not a waste. There you go. Yeah, so you can get... It's a shorter way, but you have to dig all these things up. And there's like... Component, but we have components here. We need food. I don't think there's much food here, if any. Um, this is a good place to get components for... Or from... You could rob two people for a gem, I know. You have to do it. It's it's one of the only... If you want to lead the game, if you want to win the game, um, efficiently, I suppose, you have, to, you have to rob these people. You have no choice. Um, so. Moral obligations, etc, etc. See that there, right there. I probably will rob them. Just because I need to do it anyways. So I might as well just do it now. Why everyone's in good spirits. Yeah, no food. Alright, well, keep going. Ooh, hold on. This says something about food. Yep, secret stash. Yes, sir. There's the fridge there that has something in it. See, why doesn't this make the player is sad because yeah it says nothing about stealing but i'm a, like there's no way this isn't stealing you know this is 100 percent me stealing from this person or from these people's I'm check this noise all right Put that away Put that away man look at this look at that that's a that's a nice inventory to look at. Just all those components would be nice. And 
And this is, yeah, this is hack so off and stealing. Alright, let's think about it. Let's drop... Drop this. And let's go and try to drop those people. Hey, stranger. Get away, that's our stuff. I don't really care if I'm honest with you. I really don't. I really don't, don't care. My people need it, and we need it to get out. Run! Run to the exit! Run to the exit! Don't kill them! Run to the exit! Run to the exit! You fucking bitch! Run to the exit! Okay. Okay, run to the exit. Actually, stop. 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 Scavenge. For if we have to kill these fucking people, at least... Like, steal the shit, I guess. I just have a knife and then fuck off. I don't want that. Listen, you didn't have to die. I just need the food, the meds. That was it. Alright, whatever. Get out of here. Is that guy sleeping or is he dead? He's sleeping. Okay. It was necessary. Like I explained, it's one of the only ways that you can get the fucking jewelry. The jewelry that you need. You don't really have an option. He's gonna be sad. They're all gonna be sad. Caddy's gonna fucking cry herself to sleep. That she fucking is overly emotional. It's not because she's a woman. It's because it's a, it's because her character. It's her trope. It's one of the reasons why I don't like having this trio. Maybe because Bruno doesn't do much. Bruno just makes food. He talks mad shit. When people get depressed. I remember that being a thing. Things I'm... Ah, he's depressed already. I knew it was us or them. Still, I feel bad about it. If only those deaths could have been avoided. Yep. It's not your fault. Uncle cried. Yep, she's sad. Uh, we're no better than the military using force to get what they want. Uh, we won't have to kill anyone, anyone anymore. You will. Been around more than any of my friends and relatives. I met famous people. Uh, fuck off. Readers found my interviews funny and incisive, but when I try to write down my experiences, I'm stuck. I want to find and hug my folks, not write about them. I wish I'd been seeing them more often. Yes, game. Yes. See, this is what I like about Bruno. If we have to use forts to obtain supplies, so be it. He's good about it, unless you make him the killer. In which case, uh, he doesn't do shit. In which case, he acts like a giant pussyfoot. And he, oh, bloody hell. This death was the last straw. I'm done. Alright, get up. Alright, components. That's what I need for that, eh? I can see you're down. Oh, yeah. See how it's not loading? I think Bruno just doesn't... He doesn't do good with these things, these conversations. Oh, now it's loading. Maybe he's gonna do good. Do I board up with the wood I have, or save up with the wood that I have to get for an upgrade? I think I'm gonna save up, even though she's a little sad. Who won't? If you don't help, come on, get a grip. Yeah, funny man. Little funny man. Real funny man, real funny. Okay, so you were hungry, depressed, and tired. Well, I don't care. I don't care. Alright. I don't fucking care. Someone's at the door. Help. Anyone there? I need help. Thank you for opening the door. What do you need help with? Thank goodness you hear our shell headed tenement. Down the street, and people are buried beneath the rubble. Please help me pull them out. Every pair of hands in need, and we'll organize to make sure possible for the wood in my home. I have some meds, some beds, and medical supplies. Will you help? Yes. I'm glad we helped the people from that club's house. It was the right thing to do. Yep. Are you still depressed? Yep. But you'll get better. If a shell hit our shelter, we could be in a similar situation to those people. They could count on us. I hope we can count on them. Yes, sir. So hopefully his depression will ease up now that we're uh, doing better here, I guess. 
Small apartment building. The only apartment building is owned by an elderly couple and their son. Yep, not going there again. We're not going there. We're not going there because it's going to get us killed. Um, let's go to the shelled school, actually. Some weapons. Oh, yeah, it's just the fucking... This is just the pills or whatever. Or the... Not pills. The knives that are on those homeless people. We don't need that. All right, we're scavenging, and we're going straight to that fridge. That fridge was chock full of shit. And for some reason, even though I killed those two homeless people, uh, the rest of the homeless people don't care. That door is going crazy. That's a ghost door. That's a haunted room. Fuck the other haunted house that has nothing in it. Except for a bunch of rats that scared the shit out of you. I think I mentioned it before, but if you're a new player, I think the scariest thing in the game are the rats. Um, because they are... Where the fuck do you think you're going? Just go this way. Go the fucking normal way that you went last time. No, you fucking keep going. I don't understand why I have to hold your hand through the whole thing here. That's the serious thing because they, they make you think that there's people around and these people can be anything that you think of, you know, they can be chocolate loot or whatever. There'll be four components. I'll take two wood. And then need another two wood, which I think is in here. No, but there's parts in here. I'll take the parts. That's a good inventory. Let's go. And we can all eat. You have a nice, nice, supple Chinese meal at home. When uh, Katya gets back, she stops crying. There's a bunch of dead homeless people. That we need to rob. Keyword there, Twitch. I'm not, um, not condoning murder. Thank you, Twitch bot. That probably scans through this shit, not real people. Which is fine. Mm -mm. Man. Not your naturalization. I returned after helping pull up some people buried buried under it. <laughs> Poor people. I know it was cruel to take these supplies, but it's either them or us. Are you still? If you have did it for us, we should be thankful. My man is that we have supplies. How we got them is a blessed concern. Right, you're wounded. You're tired. It's this. Go have a sleep. Go have a kip. You fucking. What? Hopefully I can upgrade the, the stove top here to fucking run on propane instead of wood or whatever the fuck I'm doing here. Yes sir, fix that up. Yes sir. Whatever happened to that cowboy kid in the mall? You know what happened to him? Nobody remembered who he was. Lucky it's not cold in here. Well, it keeps dropping by two degrees, so it's gonna get cold in here real fast. Um, fuck, shit. Okay, I need at least three more fucking fuel. God, I need an axe quick to start chopping shit up. they need to eat today. I'm saving the canned food. The canned food will help me in moments where I absolutely cannot make fuel and absolutely cannot cook food here. Oh, those will be my saving grace. Uh, by the way, if you ever overcook, like let's say we had two vegetables and they made 
the two I made two of the double meals. This is a message to new new players. Don't worry. Um, that meal gets converted the next day into one of these canned meals, so nothing goes to waste. I learned that the hard way. I accidentally made it, I think, for this exact group multiple times. It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But it turns into canned meals, so you're good. Um, wow. Alright, well, we do need food, but I also need lots of wood. I will take this from you. Thank you. Um, well, I've got this. Fine, we have a deal already. Great. Well, I still need more wood. More of this. And, and I can use some more coffee. Shitty roll up cigarettes would be good. Take all the cigarettes you have. Take your food. Take your water. Got this to give you. Got this to give you. Give you another med. How about some herbs? I don't want herbs. How about that? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All of this isn't good enough for you? Jesus. Um, with the tobacco and the herbs on top of that. And then a book. Okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous here. I'll give you like this shit right here. And I'll take off the water. I'll take off some of the food. Take up the quality roll-ups. I don't need those. It's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to be generous, so uh, fuck you, I guess. Deal. Uh, what else am I gonna? I need the cigarettes. I have nothing else to trade you after this. Though I can, I really want more of these components, but I just can't. I want to say goodbye. All right. Well, let's go upgrade this. Caddy, I get up, have some food. Yeah, witch. Fuck! Are you you? Mm, you son of a bitch. One fucking scrap of metal. Honestly, just crack open one of those fucking cans and give me the metal that's in it. Just, that's all I need. Uh, what have I done with the things I took? They would surely... They will surely die. You mean the scraps of metal and fucking rotten wood? You're fine. You'll be fine. Don't cry yourself to sleep over nothing. Oh shit, I should be having her do the bargaining. I'm fucking. Uh, I'm Pepega. Is robbery the only way we can get what we need? Yes. Alright, you good? You good with that? You good with the. Yes. The affirmative. Yes. Please, thank you. Now if you could stop crying about the fact that we have to steal shit from homeless people, thank you. I won't go there again, because she's gonna cry again. I have to go to a new place, I have to go to the airport, I think. I'll read the description and double check, but I think I have to go to the airport. I don't think I have much of a choice. So I go to the airport, then it unlocks more places, and I need to unlock more places before the rebels come, which is in a, a few days here. You're depressed, but you have to scavenge. Yeah, so I need to go somewhere. And the couple, I can't, if I go and rob shit while he's depressed, he's gonna, he's gonna lose his fucking mind. The last plane left a long time ago, and now the airspace overflowing is closed by civilian. It's closed for civilian traffic, and the army 
shoots down any offenders. They keep a permanent outpost in the control tower. Ooh. Do I go there or the ghost house? There's pistol bullets and all this stuff in there. I can't kill people right now. He's too depressed. Until I fix the depression, I can't kill anyone. Because if you kill someone while depressed, um, if you rob someone while depressed, he will become broken. And then, much like the other guy that we just we just saw, he'll kill himself. Um, ghost house or airport? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Um, hmm. What can I do here? I go to the airport, I run the risk of entering a situation where Pav could die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a try. Bring in both things, because I think I'm gonna need both of those things. Hopefully this will unlock some places for me. I don't need much. That's why I feel comfortable going here. Okay, so it's the control tower, which is all the way over there. I just need to not be in their line of sight. I'm pretty sure there are soldiers in here. Remember correctly from the last time I went into this airport on another save. There is soldiers in here. And there's a wounded guy who's an absolute fucking cocksucker. But you, you can be a cool guy and suck cock, but this guy... He's one of those bad cocksuckers. Ones that use their teeth. Twitch, don't fucking... <laughs> don't even try it. I will take this halfway. So I also need wood to burn. Even though I upgrade the stove, I think I'm still going to be using a lot of wood. Every time I fucking... Oh, clean out these piles. You have to remember it makes noise as well, by the way. In case you were unaware of that as a fact. Oh, fuck. Are you cool? Are you a cool fella? You might not be a cool fella. Hello? Whoa. Hey, bud. You scared the shit out of me. I bet I did. You hear about the peop people smugglers? Oh, is this where I learned about this shit? These bastards. They took all I had. Food, medicines, jewelry, and they cheated me. So wait, the people smugglers are bad in this version? I lost everything, even my family. To hell with all of this. I thought he was going to kill himself. Jesus. This game doesn't fuck throwing punches, honestly. It will it will tell you this guy killed himself, as we showed before. Very dirty feet hanging on a dusty rope. I feel like sometimes, though, some of the pictures in this game, for example, Pav here... These look like people I went to like school with, <laughs> like the art, like the really arty people that made films or whatever. Where it's like, all right, it's like a 40 mine, 45 minute film where it's just you see a, a ladybug or something. That's got to be a meme. That has, that's probably even a movie. Probably a short film that you can watch. But the struggles of man. The struggles of being a man in the modern age. It's a ladybug. You know, it's, it's, a, it's got lady in the name. <laughs> yeah, I can see that happening. I, I've imagined this scenario, and I've made it made up someone who I hate. The beauty of, um, you know, that, that's what people do on Twitter. I make up people that don't exist, and then hate on them. And then, because they're really... See, I think, honestly... If Twitter didn't have a cap on it, I was thinking about this recently. Um, if Twitter didn't have a word limit, there'd be a, a lot less fights on Twitter. 
So I think a lot, of, a lot of times the issues come down to like just basic, bare bones misunderstandings of like, I don't know, I saw something about some flag redesigns um, for some trans, or not trans, I think it was cis flags or something like that, cis and lesbian flag or something. And I'm fairly certain that one flag was cis, one was lesbian. But then people said, oh, there's cis lesbian flags. But I think they were just redesigns of both the cis flag, which I didn't know existed until recently. I don't know why you need to... Uh, whatever. You can design whatever the fuck you want. You shouldn't be shat on for it, regardless of what it... I don't know. I think some people are overtly aggressive. I think some people who are overtly aggressive are not actually part of the LGBTQI, or actually, what is it? LGBTQ2IA+, I think, is it? Could be wrong by the order of that. Used to be pretty good about that. We've been reading it. Bruno's a deep wound. Kenny got slightly wounded. All right, but she was already slightly wounded. He's depressed. She's slightly sad and hungry. You got wounded. Used to be an optimist. Uh, one of those people who would have sworn that war wouldn't come. Wars happened far away and through more countries, or so I thought, even when I was listening to the news, getting scared day by day. Do not believe all that was about to happen. I can bet you money that most people would be the same as Bruno and just not believe half of the shit that the fucking news tells them. Oh, she's drinking coffee. That's why I, I thought someone was taking a massive piss. That sound was her drinking coffee, I'm pretty sure. Raid. Okay, Bruno, you can sit down and talk to fucking Pav again. The daily chat with Pav. Killed two homeless people and it made him depressed for six days. Hey Pav, listen to me. I need you I need you to get through this. What do you want? Just remind you that you're not alone here. Keywords. Go away. I knew it before he was said. He was gonna say go away. All right, great. We can start repairing everything. We need five weapon parts for this. That's great. All right, we're doing good. Doing good, donkey. We're doing good. All right, rainwater collector. No. No, I don't think so. Repairing holes? Yes, sir. Less raids if you fix all the holes. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Ugh. There's my JoJo reference for the day. Speaking of JoJo, I really have to redo that JoJo video on the YouTube channel. On the main YouTube channel. I know that it's like... It's like it's a, I need to redo it to fit the editing, I think. It was a good video. I think I did really well in that video, but I'm, just, I'm sad that it didn't do as well as I thought it would, honestly. See, one of the few examples where I thought the video would do better than it did. The Doroy Doro video still surprises me. I don't know how many, it might have 10k views at this point, I don't know. It, it has a good amount of views. Um, not a lot of comments, not a lot of likes and dislikes, whatever. I mean, it's got more comments than the rest, but you know. Um, did not expect for that video to do as well as it did. And the Drifters videos always have, have done all right, like a lot better than I thought they would. The Berserk video did all right before uh, Kataro died, and um, what other one did well? I think all the videos would do well if subreddits didn't block me from promoting the videos because I, I tend to promote them on Reddit. And I, if you're a subreddit moderator, honestly, listen here. One, don't be an asshole. Two. 
if someone prom wants to promote or push puts a video that covers the topic of the subreddit, don't be a cuck. Like, let them post it. It covers the, if it covers the subject, it fits the subreddit. I don't know how many times I've had to explain it to people before, and I don't understand why people get so fucking they lose their brains over that shit. At that airport, I'm not going back to. I can go to the ghost house, I guess. Again. I go to the church, but I don't have anything to trade. Let's yeah, just go to the abandoned house again. Yeah, I've been I've been having issues with the Ranma and Inuyasha subreddit. The the main moderator, I I might even be the only moderator for that subreddit, is an asshole. Uh, which I'm sure a lot of people are aware of subreddit owners being assholes, but this guy takes the fucking cake. Um, he was like, nah, I was like offering, and I was like, alright, I'm working on this video, but I'd like to help the subreddit, because the subreddit was like bare bones, like it was like dirty. I was like, I'd like to help you, I'd like to work on it with you, and like improve the visuals and everything. He's like, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, and I was like, what? What do you mean I don't know what I'm doing? Like, no, you don't know what you're doing. The subreddit doesn't want that. I was like, why don't you just ask people if they want it? It's like, nope. And I was like, all right, I'll ask them. I'll ask for you. And then he deleted my post and then banned me from the subreddit. And he banned me for 30 days. And after those 30 days ran up, I made an appeal. He said, all right, I'll get right on it. And then he banned me for another 30 days. And that 30 days is coming up soon. So I'm going to do another appeal. And every time he uh, bans me after an appeal for no reason, I just report it. Uh, I supposedly Reddit doesn't answer or doesn't like do anything about abusive Reddit moderators, and I don't think any of the other moderators on that subreddit are active. Um, so I can't like, and I can't even see the list of moderators anyways. Um, so I can't even ask the other ones for help. And I can't even see who the one, who is the one that's banning me. I don't know. Reddit has really, like, deep-rooted issues with moderation, I think, that it needs help with. It protects the abusers more than the victims, I think. I think you should be able to report a moderator for abuse and then have the account get, like, a strike or something like that. You know, just have a bot, like, check for, like, keywords or something. Like, if you see the same message happening over and over again, or you see cusses and swears and whatever, and then it's like, alright, that's abuse. You know, simple shit like that. In my brain, actually, I know that's simple shit. You're just looking for keywords. Alright. Get to cooking, Bruno. Nobody ate yesterday, I think. It's time to cook. Dos. I want to do this. Yes. <laughs> I need food. So I need to start looking out for food. Maybe I should go and trade with the elderly couple. I don't have anything to really trade with, except for cigarettes. I'm not trading the diamonds, the diamonds, the jewelry you need for, um, for stuff. For getting out of here. So I, I won't trade that. Should have Katya go out and go talk to the elderly couple and see if we can get something from them. That would be good. Bleeding, but just a little. It's fine, as long as it don't, doesn't become like uh, Amelia, then you're fine. But she got like, she got gutted like a fish after getting the place getting raided, so. We're gonna have to end it on the next, the next day, because if I keep playing, then I'm gonna go over the two hours. Our stream. <laughs> uh -uh. Let's go 
game. Uh, once again, I recommend this game for people that enjoy artsy, thought-provoking games, for sure. I think it's one of the, the better games of that um, sort of undefined genre. That aesthetic genre, essentially. Where it's like, you know, the visuals look nice. Or, you know, it's this, the whole chalky effect that this game's got going on that you can, like, turn on and off. I don't know why you'd ever want to turn it off. It looks amazing. Whole chalky text stuff, the pictures and everything, the combination of real and sub real, like fictitious stuff. I like it. It's a great game. So if you're into the artsy stuff, you're into clickers, point and clicks kind of thing, buy the game. It's probably dirt cheap. The DLCs are cheap too. I just haven't bought the kid one because I don't I don't really it feels like a whole new ballpark where you have to deal with the kids or whatever. And I don't want to have to... This Like, we just saw someone commit suicide. I don't know how deep this game will allow itself to go. If it will show me a kid getting killed by someone. I don't know. There's a rape scene in this game for fuck's sake. I don't know. I don't know and I don't want to risk it, honestly. I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. No, I think you're taking it pretty well, so. Check the radio before we end the day. So yeah, watch. This forge can five. Just end the most of the streets. Keep that in mind when buying meat and meat resources. Alright, so maybe we have her go. And trade cigarettes or something. Bumping, bump uglies. Actually, no, I don't think I'm allowed to tell on stream. Um, okay, so Ruinville is stealing. Alright, could try and steal from them. Small apartment building is stealing. Um, Semi detached house is stealing and killing. St. Mary's Church is bartering. Useful materials in there. All right, you're scavenging. You're sitting in bed. All right, you're slightly wounded, but that's fine. Um, let's grab the crowbar and the shovel. And you probably won't take the cigarettes. They're gonna be like, nah. I don't know what they want, so I'm just gonna roll out with this. Hopefully, that'll be fine. But find anything that they want, or they'll be. I think they just have books, really, that they trade you with. When I was a child, I would come here with my parents. See, we, we've seen two variants of the church. This is what it looks like when it's all still in one piece. By the way, I realized I could have built that hacksaw. Fuck, an idiot. All right, that's enough of that. I need to figure out. Hey, look at this place, it's great. I love the way it looks. It looks so much nicer when it's not falling apart. It looks too cluttered when there's no one here. Welcome. We've been robbed recently, so we have little left. Don't. See, that's the difference. The two storylines. My flock sits beneath the church. Please do not disturb them. Well, I need to get to the other building, so... I'll do my best not to, but I need to get over there. So shall we trade? Poor in this time of hardship. So you don't got a whole lot going on here. You've got books out the ass. So let me let me go see if there's something I can find and then trade with. Hey, don't sneak up on me like that, girl. Okay. Nothing worth taking. Is this what is this gonna say? It's just gonna say the same thing about that Roxy dog. Yeah, here lies Roxy. Realize where that fucking poor bastard is that just got lit up. Can't go through that door. This door, this place is supposed to be fucked up. It is fucked up. It's got rubble everywhere. We need to find the fridge in this place fast. Let's open up this door so it's easier for me to get in. Where was the fridge in this place? Uh, shit. Was there a fridge in this place when I killed those people? Oh, 
the dirt and all that rubble, but it's a hacksaw afterwards. Go through here, then go right. Just check what's in this pile. Nothing. Alright, good. Go this way. Put down. Can we pick anything here? Nope. Maybe. Oh, there's a fucking dickhead up there. I think that guy has a gun. And he, like, he walks outside and, like, tries to kill himself. So then he's like, this, nah, I can't do it. Remember, it happens, like, every time coming. come here. Still some firewood left in that pile. Um, let's put away none of this, honestly. I can use all of this. You're not hearing me running, are you? Are you, just, are you gonna just shit yourself if I open this door? Hey, put that gun down. Don't be afraid, I'm just looking around. Yep, this is definitely the guy that kills himself. Or, like he walks outside this door to the right here and then says something, can't remember. For some reason, I just had the I'm a believer from Shrek stuck in my head for a second there. He gets the fresh air. This is exactly how it happens. He starts screaming about some shit. Ah, fucking hacksaw again. Alright, let's just start before opening up stuff. Let's close off to us right now like this. Oh, we have the shovel, so I have to bring the shovel next time. This will make it easier for us to traverse across. So I need one for here, the haunted house. I should go to the haunted house tomorrow. Oh no, but I have to end the stream. Hmm. Hmm. I got my backpack. It's really just materials. I really was hoping I'd find food in here. I guess not. I have the shovel. I'm just gonna dig through these. I know that it's mostly garbage in here, but I have the shovel. I should just use it. Maybe we can find a crumb of food in one of these things. We absolutely need the food um, by next stream. Let me do this though, really. I mean, no fucking around then. Um, hopefully, with finding, or hopefully by going to this church, we discover a new location. Okay, we, I still have some time left, so let's. Okay. <laughs> you know what to do. Don't be fucking stupid. The AI or the pathing of the AI is not that great. Or the user pathing, I guess. Hey, can I come through here? This area's off when it's leave now. Alright. That's right, stay away. Do I have anything I'd want to trade with you? No. Oh, there you are. Want to try harder. Want to try harder. Want to try harder. Yeah, you don't want cigarettes or anything like that. Should've figured. Wow. Well. Sucks to be you, Father Ted. Your people will probably love to have a good smoke. Uh, Pav. You great gains one dickhead. Oh, Bruno's asleep. You're awake. See, look. 
Food's still there. Alright. I'm gonna end the stream there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I had fun. We'll be back on Saturday from 10 to 12. I think we'll do 10 to 12 stream as well then. Um, really hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you have an opportunity or a moment, you guys could help me here and also report those um, those channels that popped out on screen for like 10 seconds. It would be greatly beneficial for me and I think for the Twitch community overall. I think I, I'm fairly certain one of those accounts has been hacked, uh, which is possible. That shit happens on YouTube a lot. I don't know how prevalent it is on Twitch. I imagine it's the exact same thing though. Um, same API, whatever. So yeah, we'll be back on Saturday, probably playing Civ 6. If you're watching this VOD uh, on YouTube, hit subscribe. And if you're watching this VOD on Twitch and you haven't already, hit follow. We're at 30 followers there. So close to 50, which is the minimum for, um, what's it called? Already forgot it, affiliate. And I really want to get to affiliate before December. So let's try and get there quicker than normal. If you have any suggestions for future games I can play or th ways of playing games I've played before or games I've played in the past that you want to see coming back again. Like I mentioned, um, In Other Waters, which is a game we haven't played for a very long time. Um, and I kind of don't play it because it's kind of a weird game. It's a very talky game. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back on Saturday. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Jippy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the whip right now. Uh, one up, man. You had your earphones off. Oh, darn. You see? Darn technocracy. It's technocracy every time. We'll get you in the ears. Now it's my pleasure to denounce, I mean, to introduce. <clears throat>
okay? Say less. For them haters that think this shit ain't for real. People don't know about it. Nevertheless, I know a lot of things that people don't know. I thought that.